How's it going guys? The Pokemon Rapper here. That's right. I changed my name from Ryle Pop Golden to the Pokemon Rapper. I figure anything I upload that has to do with Pokemon or rapping both fall under that name. It kind of covers everything or both rather and um, it's much easier to remember for most people I think so um, but I'll always be Ryle Pop Golden. If you want to listen to any of my stuff on Spotify it's Ryle Pop Golden but uh yeah battles we're back. I'm great leaguing it up, but you know what, from now on, I'm recording everything, I'm uploading, I'm just gonna make a ton of videos from now on, and we are back. Also, I've been working on some music stuff, I made this beat, let me know what you think. It would be best if you let me know what you thought now, because this is going to be on repeat for the next 11 minutes, and you're probably going to hate it by then. So first battle, let's jump right into it. Rob Pop Golden, Ninja Mook. I tried to change my name on uh, Pokemon Go to the Pokemon Rapper. Literally, one character too long. I can't do it. We see a Swampert lead. I don't know what to do. Help me. Um, so, no Hydro Cannon. Even though we know he's got it ready. And no shield on the sky attack. That's a scary thing. Because now, it's like you try to be buff right back. You're like, alright, I'll take one right back. But you know he's got another one ready to go. So, here it is. We don't want Skarm going down. He's an asset. So, we block it. And then a quick switch into Zuzu right here. And, uh... No Sludge Wave. Didn't get it in time. And, uh... Doesn't... Doesn't want to go for a, a Hydro Cannon, which I'm pretty sure he would have had ready to go. So, we take out the Swampert, but they do have one shield up on us, um, which is pretty important. But, they use it right there on the Hydro Pump, which is fine. Zoomerill could take two Flash Cannons and get to a second Hydro Pump. It seemed like the nerf on uh, non Registeel really did, uh, did him dirty a little bit, but he was so OP anyway, so... Forget about him, who cares? I don't even have a register seal in my game, so it's pretty pathetic. But, um, yeah. So, he gets a little bit of energy right there. But now we got the secret weapon in the bag. Even if it's Flash Cannon, he's not going to be able to get to a Focus Blast, but we kind of assume it's going to be Focus Blast. And he goes into Skarm, and, um, yeah, this is great for us, right? Even if he Brave Birds twice, it's not... This is just really really good situation for us um but yeah even if they tried to bait us with the flash cannon on the registeel it still wouldn't have been able to get to a focus blast or anything another flash cannon in time um flash cannon would have done very very little so gotta block that and uh now we're just playing the this game but they realize that's probably it that galarian stunfisk is gonna take care of the the rest of the of the team, so so this is interesting now. I'll show you why. Because normally, not a bad matchup for a zoom roll, Skarmory at the beginning, but they switch into Sableye instantly. Remember that. So we go right into our our baby boy, and uh, they do a good good amount of damage with that power gem, but. We're going to take them right out with the player off. So that's two weird things that they've done. They switched uh, from Azumarill off the lead, and then they didn't block. So they just go into... So I'm not, I'm not sure. So, yeah, just keep all that in mind. And we are able to get off another player off right here. And then we're going to do a quick switch so they cannot get um, any more energy off of us. Go for the sky attack. They actually block it. They care about that energy and it is hydro pump energy so I can understand why. And now they go into this Alolan Marowak. And one shield, one shield. This isn't too... It's interesting. I mean, we have our our, our stud in the back, and uh, one rock slide is going to do a ton of damage. So he's getting a lot of energy here, and we're not going to block because we're we need that 
I mean, Bone Club isn't going to do anything to Glare and Sunfisk anyway. It's, not, it, it's super effective, but it really doesn't do too much. It's pretty crazy, but I'd rather hold that shield for, uh, for something more important. And he goes Bone Club anyway, and we're, uh, we are able to get a Sky Attack off. So we go with Zuzu, and now they, uh, knocked that out with Bone Club. Don't think they had to do that, and now they see the Galarian Stunner. And, uh, some, some lag right there, but that's it. So... Pretty good, pretty good. 2 -0. this is the same set. Now, here we go. A little deja vu for you. New player, Azumarill, swaps instantly into Sableye. This is a purified Sableye, so return is on the table, and this game goes much differently. We block the first one, assuming it's return. It is return. Now, we get that player off ready. A little bit of extra in the back pocket. And also playing this differently as well. They're going to block it. I think that's the right thing to do because return does so much damage and they get to it quickly enough that they beat out my play rough. And, uh... Now they have an interesting decision. Do they want to put the last shield... How much do they value the Sableye? So they're going to be able to farm us down with their, Zoom their Azumarill now. And, um... I didn't want him to get energy. That might that uh, that's actually I don't want to spoil anything, but that's a, a crucial misplay. We probably should have let him farmed us down right there and not have switch locked ourselves into this scarm because Alolan Marowak has a, a good matchup against us and uh Yeah, we do have Sunfisk in the back, but they have that that Azumarill that's just really ready to go now. So we do have a shield, but is it how important is the shield, you know? We really gotta farm this thing down. We know it's... Bone Club Shadow Ball, I assume. I don't know if we saw both, right? We definitely saw the Shadow Ball. I don't know if we saw Bone Club, but... So here's an Earthquake, and now, uh... Using our last shield, we're not gonna be able to get to an Earthquake in time. I think I played that wrong... Don't know if it would have mattered 100%, but that switch, that ended up switch locking ourselves. Same exact team, two different games, see the players play it differently, and that's... Also, the Sableye was different, I believe, so that makes all the difference. Um, so it really is uh, how you play it. You know, you could have the best team, but if you play it kind of funny, then uh, you might lose a little bit more. Your results might be a little more different. So, we see a Scrafty Elite. Now, this beat, I've had this beat, uh, this is like my third attempt trying to make this video, because the editing was getting messed up, so it's starting to drive me a little crazy. But, Scrafty Elite, here we go. Power up punch, nice read, no block, oh, but we can't get to our sky attack in time, that is super annoying. And, um, yeah, trust me, I'm much madder about it when I'm actually playing than I am right now. But, foul play is not going to do much, I actually don't hate this because we're a shield up, and, uh, we can just farm down with Azumarill. It's just such a good matchup against that Scrafty. And um, they switch into their Skarm, so we just switch into our Stunna. Season 2 regular Stunfisk got me in the top 500. And uh, now Season 3 Galarian Stunfisk. Help me get to rank 9. Rank 10 is not going to happen in the top 500. Not happening. I tried. I tried very hard in Great League came out um, when Season 3 first started, and then the leaderboard finally updated, and I was pretty far away. I couldn't believe how high people were already. So, we're actually in a game right now, by the way. I'm babbling about other stuff, but we are in a game. And, uh, yeah, we got two shields up against this Crafty, and uh, we see a Stunfisk come out. Two shields is nice, and this Azumarill has a ton of energy on him, so Hydro Pump is pretty much going to one-shot it, and uh, that's it. They know it's good. Alright, so, final game. Shadow Hitmonchan leads such an interesting Pokemon, because it's so frail, and look at how much damage I'm doing to it, but... It's just the mind game with the power up punch and or the thunder punch and what they're gonna elect to do and they're gonna have to burn their shields on this and it's just a it creates a whole different aspect. Um, it really just changes the game because now I'm under a ton of shield pressure. 
they're under a ton of shield pressure. They're very frail. Uh, there's more mind games with the power of punches. And now he's up a shield. I have a switch advantage. It's not the worst position for me. It all depends where his last two Pokemon are. And um, it's a Skarm. So now having switch advantage is pretty important because Stunfisk is the best Pokemon for Skarm. And they swapped to Umbreon and Azumarill is arguably the best Pokemon. Well, not the best. I mean, we could have him a champ or something like that. But the fact that we had switch lead completely um, is going to work in our favor now, or switch advantage, not switch lead, even though they have that extra shield, that shield's not really going to help too much in this situation, because now we just are in the best possible spot in last resort, yeah, it's chipping us down a little bit, but you know how Azumar will be, and boy's a tank, so, there's that shield, and they try to switch into that Skarm, they don't try, they switch it to that Skarm. I thought they might try something funny and try to sky attack us real quick. Um, but they don't, we were able to switch into our stunner real quick before they could do anything crazy. And then they go for a Brave Bird, which does a ton of damage. Um, but we did a ton of damage to them, sorry, because their defense severely fell. But it still did a good amount of damage to us as well, but we don't want to take anything else. So we, uh... Do a lot to Rock Slide right there. We take a foul play right here. We are gonna farm up. Rock Slide will not knock us, not knock them out. Man, at the end of the video, I'm just getting all tongue tied. So quick switch into a zoom reel here. Did we have to do that? Probably not. But I wanted to end it with a bubble and not do anything crazy. And uh, we actually caught a foul play, which was a little icing on the cake. So yeah, four one in this set. Um, I figure I'll just do sets or about five games of video from now on to really um, just pump videos out. You know, instead of making an hour-long video, we're just getting just some, some good battles in, some good content. If you guys enjoy it, please subscribe and like. And uh, trying to get to 500 subscribers right now, we're pretty close. Um, so yeah, expect many more videos. If you're coming to... To get unbelievably professional play and learn a lot, you might not get all that, but you will get a little bit of entertainment and some good commentary from the kids. So, thanks so much for watching, and I'm not drinking this whole thing. Look how tall this is filled up. Normally, I drink it all, but not today, hombre.